the slide me that sports slash hip hop. This is my playoff reaction and review to the Phoenix Suns being the LA Clippers tonight. The first time the spin is the first time the Phoenix Suns have been to the NBA Finals in nearly 30 years, and Chris Paul's first time going to the NBA Finals. Woo! Chris Paul and the Suns, they put on them. I, I, you saw last night, I did not say what Ernest wanted to say. I did not predict them to win. I thought they were winning game seven. I said, I didn't know. I don't want to stick by too soon. But I felt like the Clippers would win at home and then Phoenix would finish them off at home. But nah, Chris Paul was in his bag. You know, he finished. He made sure he had his business. He'd been, like I said, this was his only time. I felt like the only chance to make it to the NBA Finals with this team. Everybody knows about his triumphs. And try to get LA. Everybody knows the heartbreaking three one lead they had that one year, which I said they would win the championship that year. They didn't lose to Houston. Then the, another time when he he ended up playing for Houston a few years back in twenty nineteen, we had that pull hamstring and the Rockets lost. And I said they won the championship that year when Kevin Durant got hurt for the Warriors. And I thought they would have beat Toronto. So now I said this is it. This is his chance. This is his team. And like I said, whoever comes out the West, like I said before, begin the beginning of like when the playoffs started. Whoever comes out the West is gonna win the championship. And that's what happened. and that's why I feel like Chris Paul won his first championship this year. And I feel like the Phoenix Suns will beat the Milwaukee Bucks or the Atlanta Hawks. Because I feel like DeAndre Hayden Aiden, he's the X Factor. I don't feel like neither one of those teams, the Bucks or the Hawks, have anybody that can stop DeAndre Hayden. I feel like that. I feel like their Suns bench is better than both those teams. So I feel like the Phoenix Suns will will win the NBA Finals this year. They're my pick. So remember I said it. I got the Phoenix Suns winning the NBA championship. Even though, like I said, my dream pick, I want the Hawks versus to go against the Phoenix Suns. I like to see a young Trey Young and a young Devin Booker go at it. Because I feel like they're already comparing Devin Booker to Kobe Bryant now. And I feel like, okay, I'm like, they definitely going to put him up there. If he goes to the finals and he show out and he win, they're going to be like, oh, Devin Booker up next. But I want to see Trey Young there too because it would be like Stephen Curry. They consider Trey Young like he's like, you know, Stephen Curry. Even though I don't think he likes Stephen Curry, to me, Stephen Curry is a better shooter than him. And Trey Young is a better passer to me than Stephen Curry is. So, I feel like Trey Young in his own. He's he's more like he's Trey Young to me is more like a young Chris Paul. I think he can shoot the three and all, but Trey Young's an excellent facilitator. He's more of a better passer than Steph Curry ever was or ever is, pretty much. But yeah, like wow, I'm so happy for my boy Chris Paul. It's 16 years ago this summer that I remember I was at my grandparents' house and I remember Chris Paul got dressed out of Wake Forest by the New Orleans Hornets. Yeah, they back then they were the Hornets before they were before they became the Charlotte Hornets again. They were New Orleans Hornets. I remember when he got drafted. I remember I was so upset because everybody said the Hawks should have got Chris Paul. I should have got a Chris Paul. That's before we got this great GM we ever, the best GM we ever had ever, who we got right now. But we had a terrible GM that picked Mar Williams. Mar Williams wasn't a scrub. He had a good, he had a good um, um standing career in the NBA. He had a, I think he played in the league over 10 years. But he wasn't worth no second overall draft pick. We, like I said, we should have got Chris Paul. We didn't get another chance to get another good point guard until we got Jeff T. I think that was like... In 09 or 08, I think, when Jeff Teague came. Jeff Teague was good. Like, he actually is to back up. He's deep on the bench from Augie Bucks. So, Jeff Teague was a good player. But Chris Paul, he's my favorite. To me, he's my favorite point guard of all time. To me, he really is point guy. I remember me and one of my buddies, like, I, I d debate with him about who was better Russell Russell or Chris Paul. I said I get a little inch over Chris Paul. I said it to him last summer and all that. And like I said, here's why. The Phoenix Suns haven't made the NBA Finals in 10 years since they had Steve Nash in them. And they always lost to... To the Lakers, pretty much. They always lost to the Lakers or the Spurs, so they couldn't give it to Steve Nash in a group. But, so this is their first time going to the playoffs in nearly oh, a decade. And Chris Paul comes in and gets his team right into work, and they go straight to the NBA Finals. They beat, of course, they start out beating the LA Lakers, the defending champs. Then they handled Denver easily, why they were supposed to, because Denver didn't have their best, their best player, Jamal Murray. Well, Joker's their best player, but their best point guard is Jamal Murray. And then they handled LA Clippers. Once Kawhi Leonard got hurt, it's like, everybody's like, dang, yeah. Kawhi Leonard got hurt. We know, okay, yeah, like, the, the Suns should handle it. They should do their thing. Even when Chris Paul was out with COVID for those two games, we knew he was going to come back. So, And the Suns handled their business when Chris Paul was out. Devin Booker played his butt. DeAndre Andrews had been playing like he the number one wall draft pick. So, Suns did their thing. But, like I said, Chris Paul, like, somebody I really have watched his career, watched him make just look like, dang, he almost had it. The two times he had a chance, like I said, to make it to the NBA Finals with Houston and L.A., and, like, he always just came up short. Something happened. So, to see him do it now, it just, oh, man, it's remarkable. It's uh, so happy for him. I think he'll win his first championship. I remember on Facebook they put on there, like, a while back, I think, who, between him, Russell Westbrook, and Carmen, he think is more deserving, who he'd like to see win the championship. And, like I said, I, I picked Rip Hall. And Rip Hall, 
won a championship. Next, I want to see Melo. I know the room he's supposed to team up with LeBron in L.A. I feel like LeBron get a fifth ring next year in Lakers with the Lakers if Melo comes, but that's a whole different story, you know. They said rumors still going around that Damian Little might want to come to the Lakers. So that's another V, another topic. But Chris Paul, I feel like he'll win his first championship, and I'll be so happy for him he does, man. Somebody I really remember when they got drafted, watch they growing to, to get to where they at where they get rings. Besides LeBron James, I remember LeBron James got drafted a little bit. I was real, real young. But Chris Paul, I remember almost vividly when he got drafted 16 years ago. So see him now, like, yeah. When it's winning championship, my favorite point guard of all time, winning the NBA Finals, winning championship. That would be something. So Great game. Like I said, great game. Well, not really a great game. It started out good, but then Chris Paul just got to cooking in the middle of the third quarter, and just he was not being stopped. He he was determined. He's like, this is my time. He knows this is his chance, and he put his foot on the gas and did not stop. <laughs> so good game by Chris Paul. Happy for the Phoenix Suns. They're going to the NBA Finals. Hopefully they'll win that first championship ever. I don't think the Phoenix Suns ever won a championship ever in their illustrious career in the whole time since they've been around. So I can't wait, man. I know they'll do Charles Barkley's happy. I know he will be on TNT cracking up, having a good time. They're the Suns in the NBA Finals. And of course, Devin Booker, I feel like he is that next guy. He is that next dude up, Devin Booker. He's really showing he's good scoring. DeAndre Aiden, like he's another one, the best big man. He's one of them old school big men as well. DeAndre Aiden ain't out there shooting them three, trying to shoot them jump shots or nothing like that. He didn't want them guys going to the paint old school style, getting the rebounds and go back up and dunk. So, like I said, and on the Clippers side of it, first time ever they made it to the Western Conference Finals, came up just short. I don't think they should keep Kawhi. I think they should let them go. I don't think Kawhi want to play for them no more. So, I think they should get like try to get another player, try to go out to somebody to team up with Paul George. Like I said, I know people are gonna get on Paul George old oh, that game when he missed them both of them three throws. I think it was like game three or something. Like, I forgot which game it was. It was game three or something like that when he he missed both those free throws. I think it was game. Game four. Yes, game four when he missed both of them free throws. Everybody gunning him. So he choked. He missed them two free throws and all that. But nah, he came back. He had a good game. He did what he could, man. Paul George, everything good. He he got my respect. Paul George, really is a good player. I don't think he's a choke artist or nothing like that. He came out just short. I believe the Clippers will be back next year. And I feel like Paul George will get a championship sooner or later. He will get to the NBA Finals first time in his career and get a championship. But Clippers, like I said, they played it hard. They played good. So, of course, I know Patrick Beverly, you know, most just ran high. Like, this team is good. Tyron Lue showed he's a good head coach as well. That it wasn't just about LeBron James and Cleveland. He showed he's a good head coach as well. So, Clippers today thing happened for him. They, they made history and made it to the West Conference Finals for the first time. But, you know, came up just short. I guess a better Phoenix Suns team. But, that's right. My boy Chris Paul, CB3 point guy, is going to the NBA Finals the first time in his career. And, like, and also, talk about next week's, tomorrow night's game. This rumor that Yolf Giannis, nor Trey Young gonna play. I got the Hawks winning at Milwaukee. I know people say on paper, like I said, Milwaukee Bucks have Chris Middleton, Drew Holiday, who are all stars. So the Bucks should still win without Giannis and all that. But Hawks, man, it's not about in the, in the play. It's about unity, man. It's not about who's better individual as all stars. It's about unity, man. And the Hawks got that unity. Cam Reddish start balling. We were forgetting about Cam Reddish can ball like. He's a good ball, basketball player. Out of R.J. Barrett, Zion Williams, he was the one that had the most upside, people forget. I feel like he might ball out tomorrow in Milwaukee. You never know. We on, they're on the road, but you don't know. The way Nigga Millen got this team playing, like I said, Nigga Millen never had a team like this. So It's about unity, man. Lil Will, he might drop again. I know Lil Will, he inconsistent when he dropped 20. He don't do it the next game. But I feel like Lil might drop again and go hard. Then Kevin Herter. I feel like the way he's balling, he's going to play good. Bogey, like he got his knees back, he good. And down like Gallinari, another good player. People don't talk about enough. He was doing his thing in New York. People forget how good he was in New York Knicks. So, and then was with Denver also as well. So, I got I to gotta go with the Hawks. The Hawks have the better me, the better team, the better uni without their star players. So, if neither Trey or Giannis don't play, I'm going I'm going with Atlanta. They got better uni. So, I thought the Hawks going to win in Milwaukee. Then they're going to come back to the A on Saturday night, and they're going to finish them off. And I feel like the Hawks going to go to the NBA Finals. going to be the Atlanta Hawks versus the Phoenix Suns. That's how I like. That's all I want to see. And like I said, I got the Phoenix Suns win the championship. So, like I said, good night, man. Like I said, on my next video, actually, I'm going to do on Young Bucks. Um, he's coming out. He's coming out July the 2nd on Thursday. On, not on Thursday, but on Friday night. He he has an album dropping. I'm going to do an album review on that. And also, of course, I'm going to do my playoff reaction if you're on the Hawks versus my Bucks as well. But that's what's coming next on my video. Like I said, thanks for watching. Anybody that does, man. Keep on going in, man. Slime Media, I'm out. Good night.